I'm Chris Cuomo, and we have a Cuomo primetime exclusive tonight. A claim that goes to the truth of what the president knew and when he knew about an event that is central to the special counsel's Russia investigation. Let's get after it. We have CNN political analyst Carl Bernstein and Jim Shudo, our chief national security correspondent for CNN. Jimmy, what do we know now? Well, Chris, tonight, sources with knowledge tell myself and Carl that Michael Cohen claims that then-candidate Donald Trump knew in advance about the June 2016 meeting in Trump Tower in which Russians were expected to offer his campaign dirt on Hillary Clinton. Crucially, these sources tell us that Cohen is willing to make that assertion to the special counsel, Robert Mueller. Cohen alleges as well that he was present, along with several others, when Trump was informed of the Russians' offer. He was informed by Donald Trump Jr. about that offer. By Cohen's account, Trump approved going ahead with that meeting with the Russians. Now, we should note that our sources said Cohen does not have evidence such as audio recordings to corroborate his claim. A source familiar with Cohen's House testimony said he did not testify that Trump had advanced knowledge. Cohen's claims were not mentioned as well in separate reports issued by both Republicans and Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee. Now, going back through that transcript, the question before Congress for Cohen is going to be, did they even ask him about it? So now there's a different state of play. Let's bring in Carl here. Timing. Why now? Uh, because Michael Cohen is going around saying that he has information uh, that shows that the president had foreknowledge of this event, uh, as well as foreknowledge of other things that Cohen now is aware of. And we know that Cohen is, quote, flipping, uh, attempting to flip on the president of the United States. Uh, he's also shopping for a get out of jail card. Uh, if this information is true and accurate, and if it can be uh, nailed down in testimony by others, it's very, very significant because the president has denied any foreknowledge uh, of this event. And this meeting goes to the question of intent to collude because, indeed, his son in that meeting made him uh, said to in a communication that he was willing to get information. I love it, he said, from the Russians at this meeting. All right. So before we get into the implications too deeply, let's get into the balancing part of this. Jimmy, what are you hearing from the president's side on this? OK, so we reached out to a number of people, of course. Alan Fudafasi, of course, the attorney for Donald Trump Jr., he tells CNN the following, and I'm quoting, Donald Trump Jr. has been professional and responsible throughout the Mueller and congressional investigations. We are very confident of the accuracy and reliability of the information that has been provided by Mr. Trump Jr., and on his behalf. I should say that contacted by CNN, one of Cohen's attorneys, that is Lanny Davis, he declined to comment. And of course, Chris, I know you're speaking to Rudy Giuliani, the president's attorney, and I'll leave his response to you. 